What's going on guys, my name is Tom from Dreadlabs and today we're going to make a cover of only Dreadlabs products. So uh, the reason I want to do this video is to show you off what our uh, products, our assets in our web shop can uh, be capable of for a graphic designer like yourself. So I thought I would challenge myself with creating some cool artwork um, with only uh, my Dreadlabs products basically. So the ones we have so far are a vector package, a 3D render package, a sticker slash a small asset package, and an album cover mockup. So those are the ones we're gonna use. So let's start by diving into Illustrator and grab some cool tribal shapes. So this is the Dreadlabs uh, vector shapes uh, package, uh, volume one. So we have 20 shapes in here and we can combine these and try to make a cool like rotating chrome spinner or some sort. Um, so let's just do that right now. And by just pasting it in uh, as a smart object, you can already work with these vector shapes in Photoshop real easy. Uh, and I've updated the product so that there's also PNG files in there for the ones of you who don't use Illustrator. All right, now let's give this some uh, depth. Or adding a bevel and emboss uh, to this and I'm going to change the angle up to the highlights in the top left and I'm going to do a gradient overlay as well with some cool returning uh, shadows I guess so I want to have this one a little bit lighter All right, so um, let's just add the depth, add the size a bit to around something like this. And I'm gonna duplicate it, clear the layer style, remove the fill and add another bevel and emboss, this time with a ring gloss contour. And as you can see, this gets that chrome type uh, effect going on. Maybe do like one like this and then duplicate that one and increase the size on that one. And on the lower one here, let's soften it up just a little bit. So you won't see the edges between here. All right, so um, now that we have this one, let's just group this name it vector shape one and let's just add another one in the background so now I'm gonna use this one because it's a bit more complicated and I'm just gonna copy the layer styles of these to save some time so I'm gonna duplicate it three times paste the bottom copy layer style here copy this layer style and paste it here and copy this layer style and paste it in here and we'll call this vector shape 2 and let's just do one last one and we'll go with this one And I want to increase the second one a little bit in size, like this. And here we are doing the same thing, so duplicate it three times, or two times, so we have three. And then paste the correct layer styles in there. And we'll call this vector shape three. So it might be kind of like uh, too. So it might be too wild right now, uh, but I want to do have some differences between them so you can see which one is which, uh, and we're gonna do that with uh, by hiding the first two for uh, for now, 
and see what happens if we apply a gradient map to this. And what I usually like to do is just experiment a bit with these uh, gradient maps because they have a lot of potential. And if you want to double the shading in here, uh, I would recommend going uh, black on the one end and black on the other end as well. And then have our, your hues uh, set in here. So maybe add a cyan one. And then maybe here a bit more of a yellow one. And this will probably look good if we add a difference filter to it, like so. Now with the second one, we can add the same uh, gradient map to this one, but we can change the colors up a bit. So let's see what happens if we change this a bit to more of a greenish color or a mint. And let's just make this one maybe red or orange. And let's see what happens if we make this one a bit more purple, like magenta kind. All right, so uh, there's already a bit of difference going on here, but I want uh, I want to have a bit more contrast between them. So I think I'm going to add a either an outer glow or a drop shadow. So let's see what happens if we add a drop shadow to this. And I like to do the contour like this, so the edges will also be properly uh, shaded. Um, and maybe let's see what happens if we add an inner glow. with a bit of a noise attached to this. Yeah, this looks kind of cool. Right. Um, so I want to copy this layer style to the second one as well, to have that edge around the second one as well. And then for the third one, I'm going to duplicate this gradient map and paste the layer style with the drop shadow and the inner uh, glow onto here as well. And then I'm going to change around the colors of this um, last shape, I guess. And as you can probably see, my Photoshop is starting to slow down a bit, and I think that's because of the lots of layer styles that I'm using in this project. Um, so it might be a good idea to... Um, uh, to sm uh, either rasterize or convert them to smart objects if you want to work faster. Um, okay, so I'm kind of content with this, and I also really like how the circles here turned out. They get kind of that 3D vibe. Uh, so let's just group this as main vector or main shape, and we'll convert this to a smart object. And as you can see, our uh, size of our document or like the workspace that we were in uh, just decreased by around 200 megabytes which is a good thing um, so now let's just drag in some dread renders uh, and I feel like we haven't worked with the barbed wire once uh, a lot so let's just do that right now if we select two of them and put them to the back here so because of the depth of field the background is kind of noisy uh, but still like uh, still background because it's so blurred um, which is a good thing to me um, maybe we should darken them up a bit but I'm not sure let's see yeah maybe a bit like this alright so now that we have our uh, main composition going on I want to see if we can use some of the uh, Dreadlabs uh, layer styles that are available and free by the way um, and apply them to our uh, text in here. So let's just create some text. And go into this uh, file in here and copy the one of our glass kind of effect. And this could look kind of cool. Um, If you want to exaggerate this, I would suggest as checking out our glass type uh, tutorial to have these edges refract uh, the background image. 
but I'm not going to do that for now. Um, let's just see where we can go from here. So let's see if we can bring in this texture from the goodie pack. And I want to increase the uh, details on here just a little bit. So with the curves, I'm going to bring in some highlights. And as you can see, that brings out some of the more invisible parts in these paper texture that I got. Let's just group this, call it texture. And now we have some kind of noisy texture going on, which I really like. Um, let's just save this as our file. And let's just bring in uh, one of our uh, album cover mockups. So uh, we have our album cover mockup in here and we have our uh, replacement file in here. So what I want to do is I want to go right click and then click on replace contents. And then we're going to go to our file that we just made, our cover artwork, and it will apply automatically. And uh, to hide it a bit, uh, just hiding it for you now, uh, we'll show you uh, the possibilities of this Photoshop file. So we have the, uh, ed as you can see in the background, you, you can turn off the edges in here. Uh, you have this final, like rotational uh, distress and you have this paper texture. Um, so this texture uh, I'm going to remove for now as well as the vinyl distress because uh, it's a bit too much in my opinion for this one. And now we're going to show this and there's already an edge around this which is cool. Um, so yeah, now we can uh, properly uh, export this and share it on our Instagram or do whatever we want with it, um, which I'm going to do now. Um, so yeah, uh, this was a rather quick video compared to the stuff that we have done in the last few videos. Um, anyway, I just wanted to show you the potential of the products that we have in our web shop. You can get all of these products on uh, dreadlabs.net. So if you have any suggestions or questions, uh, please let me know in the comments or join us on Discord. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.